It's certainly not the most attractive Week 8 college football matchup, but as one of only two games on the Wednesday slate, New Mexico State UTEP is worth your attention. The road team, New Mexico State, currently laying three points after opening minus one. The total sits at 48.5. Time to find out how I'm betting this weekday matchup, as I think one side does, in fact, offer a ton of value. Now, Conference USA has a grip on the weeknight action in college football these last two weeks. Sure enough, third consecutive Wednesday, we see New Mexico State on the field. Previous two Wednesdays, both resulted in wins. The Aggies defeated FIU 34-17 as six-and-a-half-point favorites, and then Sam Houston 27-13 as three-and-a-half-point favorites. Brings the team's year-to-date record to four and three straight up as Jerry Kill looks to go bowling for a second straight season. But unlike the last two weeks, now New Mexico State has to go on the road. And they will face a UTEP team coming off a 27-14 road win over FIU as three-and-a-half-point dogs. Prior to that, UTEP had certainly, certainly been off to a disappointing start to 2023. Uh, still just 2-5 and five straight up in ATS, including that win over FIU. And Dana Dimmel uh, may have one of the hottest seats in America for any head coach. But last week, he gets bailed out by fourth-string quarterback Cade McConnell in his first career start. McConnell throws for 262 yards and two touchdowns. Begs the question, why wasn't he starting in the first place if he looked so good? How shocking was McConnell's effort last week? Well, He threw for 175 yards in the first quarter against FIU on only five completions. Previously, this UTEP offense had been averaging just 188 yards passing per game. McConnell matched that with just, again, five completions. Nearly matched it. Not saying we're going to see another explosive start like that this week from UTEP. But consider New Mexico State's offense didn't even score in the second half against Sam Houston. They didn't need to. They were up big at the break. But UTEP... They jumped out to a 21-0 lead on FIU in the first quarter and never looked back themselves. That picked up the program's first ever win in the state of Florida. Speaking of history, despite New Mexico State only joining Conference USA prior to this season, these two schools, regular opponents in what is known as the I-10 rivalry, Las Cruces and El Paso, less than an hour apart. UTEP has had the series edge, going 10-3 straight up, and 7-4-2 and two against the number going back to 2009 versus New Mexico State. Last season, the Miners were 2013 winners here in El Paso, but they did not come close to covering as 17-point favorites. This time around, though, spreads a lot tighter. In fact, UTEP now getting points. A line of three or less has not been good to the Miners in 2023. I realize this. They're 0-4 straight up and against the spread in those contests. Meanwhile, New Mexico State, 4-1 straight up and 4-0-1 ATS in their last five games with a spread of three or less. But I can't help but think UTEP is a solid value in this spot. The Miners were expected to be a contender in Conference USA this year. And last week, I think that was the bottom of the market on them. But as a home dog this week, I would still look to back UTEP. What do you think about this matchup Wednesday night? Let me know down in the comments section below. While you're at it, feel free to smash that like button and or subscribe to the Wage Talk YouTube channel if you already haven't done so. We have a ton of great sports betting content each and every single day. As a reminder, I am number one at Wager Talk with all 5% releases going back to last bowl season. Includes a perfect 5-0 record with 5% plays over the last month. Three of those wins were in college football. And for a limited time... You can get seven days of my picks, all sports, just $69. Just use that coupon code 7PASS at checkout. That's the number 7, P-A-S-S, and you will get $30 off a seven-day all-access pick. Soccer coming back uh, this weekend. In addition to football, we have the Major League Baseball playoffs as well. Of course, wt.buzz backslash bp is the place to go. Now, if you're looking for more game previews, trends, and breakdowns, Check out this next video.